There are four main gods in the Hawaiian pantheon. Between them, they cover the island experience. They comprise the range of what has to be done every day in order to eat, or what happens in the simple course of events. The gods are Ku, Kanaloa, Lono, and Kane. The gods of war, the sea, the earth, and the light. Everything that happens is a manifestation of one or more of these gods. Acts of frustration or violence, the sun working on taro, gills in a net, a tutu up against the winter sky, opihi sucking back on a rock. One of the gods is responsible for each of these. There is a fifth thing of importance in all Hawaiian lives. It is no god, but it might as well be. It is their music. Perhaps it is the only god. In August of 1970, a ho'olau a musical get-together was held in Hana on the island of Maui, and the best of the authentic old-style musicians were brought there to sing, play, and dance for each other. At the end of the day, the Hawaiian national anthem, Hawaii Pono'i, was sung, and by that time of that particular day, it suddenly seemed as if it is not so much a song as a spirit. In that field underneath the hill called Kauiki, the old fortress of Hana, the gods got together, a thing they rarely have time for anymore. For instance, Ku's Hawaii Pono'i might take this form. I have four brothers and three sisters. Three are my true brothers, one is Hanai. Two sisters live with us, the other is Hanai too. We live in Hana, Hana of the low sky. I lived with Moku one summer, but I missed my father, Bella Ahilani Nui, and came back. I like to fish more than picking fruit with my mother, Keakahuli Lani. It is women's work. It always gets too hot. My oldest brother will tell you I should go pick fruit with my mother. That blood makes me cry, but I'm too old for that. I'm ten. I did cry once when I was nine, but not anymore. My father even killed a wild pig that came into the house with a stick and his bare hands. I was afraid, but I didn't cry. The pig even cut his arm badly, but the kahuna came and it got better. My uncle went to the big island this spring. I was sad to see him go. I think I will always stay here. This is my home. I'll be back.
ancestors upon each and every one of you. My first acknowledgement will go to the Hawaii and the offsprings Nakuenapua or Hawaii. I will reciprocate that in the language of my ancestors. Akahai and Hawaii, Lokahi Aku Niki, Olu Olu Kamanao, Ha'a Ha'a Ko. Ahonui Alanakina. Alamai Ehawe. Laula Akautana. O Mai Ekalehu Lehu. Ha Aheo O Ehawe. I know I know Mikialoha. I will now reciprocate so that we can all be with that Aloha spirit within each and every one of us. And I will be accompanied with a song. There are three things. Three things that makes life worthwhile here on earth, and that is faith, hope, and charity. Ekolu me anui makahanua. E is akahai, Hawaiian meaning kindness, to be expressed with a feeling of tenderness. L stands for lokahi, Hawaiian meaning unity to be expressed with a feeling of harmony. O is Olu Olu, Hawaiian meaning agreeable, to be expressed with a feeling of pleasantness. H is Ha'a Ha'a, Hawaiian meaning humility, to be expressed with a feeling of modesty. A is Ahu Noe, Hawaiian meaning patience, to be applied with perseverance. Sincerity of the
Kanaloa's Hawaii Pono'i could be sung like this. I have four brothers and three sisters. We live with my mother and father by the bay in Hana, Hana of the low sky. My father sings us songs and tells us stories. One is about Hana's low sky, Lani Ha'aha'a. Once Ka'euku Lani went up on the famous hill of Kauwiki and in a spirit of joy threw his spear up into the air exclaiming, it is said of old that the sky comes down close to Hana, but I find it quite high, for I have thrown my spear Kamo'olehua, and it did not pierce the sky, and I doubt if it will even hit Kamehameha. There is another story about Ai Ai, the son of Ku'ula, the fish god. He put a stone in the sea, then he said to his friend, Today I name this stone Ku Alanakila, for I have triumphed over my enemies, and I hereby declare that all fishes, crabs, and sea moss shall return again in plenty throughout the seas of Hana, as in the days when my parents were living in the flesh at Lehuula. The fish returned. Ai Ai's good work did not stop at this point. He went to Honomaele and put three pebbles in the sea beyond the breaking surf. They gathered others together and made a regular ridge, and the Aveo Veo gathered there from the far ocean, and the people came with nets and lines and hooks and caught them as they desired. The ridge is still there, but is difficult to locate because all the old residents are gone, either dead or moved away. I'll be back.
This story could be Lono's Hawaii Pono'i. There is a hill in Hana called Kauiki. In ancient times, a man lived there named Hawaii. His sons and their sons eventually left and settled the island to the east that now has his name. But for some time, they remained loyal to the old man in Hana. Later, after he died, they became more involved with their own island and more loyal to their own ali'i. When Kamehameha united the islands with his ihe, they became loyal to him. They looked from the darkness of the sea to their own sons and saw the line continue, perhaps forever. For instance, the famous Kolea Moku once met Kiha Api'ilani on the road, and she asked him, Whose son are you? Where is your homeland? He answered, My father is Kahu'ukole. My father is also Hawaii. I live at Kauai Papa in Vaipuna A'ala. It is our native land and our home is there. I'll be back. Oh, 
This is Kani's Hawaii Pono E. And now sing with us, all of you. Hawaii's own true sons, be loyal to your chief, your country's liege and lord, the Ali'i. Father above us all, Kamehameha, who united us in the war with his spear. Hawaii's own true sons, look to your lineal chief, those chiefs of younger birth, younger descent. Hawaii's own true sons, people of loyal hearts, thy only duty lies, list and abide.
chule a wey, a wey yeba. Vení. Vení. So that is what we have. We have these four gods, these four seasons, the four ages of man, the three meals we eat and the one we skip, and then that sleep, smiling river from swerve of shore to bend of bay, brings us around again to Hana coast and environs where we are, or were, or will be. There is that crack of light and then legend forever. That is what it is, that is what we have, 